Hi guys, welcome to Asian Petrol. Today we have the 2022 Kia Carnival for night drive. And it's a special one uh, because we have a high roof on the top. It's actually about 12 inches taller compared to a regular Kia Carnival and about 220 pounds heavier. And Kia is asking about 24K US dollars more for this. It's called the high limits in here in Korea. So uh, at the end, please guys do let me know whether do you think it's worth uh, 24K US dollars more money in the comments section. Uh, it's raining a little bit and we actually do not have any time for daytime review. So we're just gonna give it to you with the uh, nighttime review. Um, without any further ado, let me just show you the car from the front. Uh, still old Kia logo, uh, grill and uh, same looking. LED DRL and LED headlamp system. So let me just put a B-roll showing the headlamp system. That's DRL, headlamp, high beam, turn signal, fog lamp, and this is what horn sounds like. So looks pretty much the same. And from the side, uh, we have a side step. It's quite sturdy, you know. Yeah, I'm about 90 kilograms, and even if I stand here, it's no problem. Uh, there's also a puddle lamp, but lots of leaves supposed to say high limits in here let me just put a b-roll and like i told you we have a high roof here um, it's been raining all day and uh you know I was i'll show you when we drive but it's quite nicely isolated uh they it's nicely put together and we still have this uh fin here uh, looks pretty good i think uh yeah, I'm getting used to it. 235, 55 by 19 on front and back. And uh, let me also show you the car, quickly show you the car from the rear. Um, we have an additional brake light here uh, for the uh, high, high roof. Um, looks pretty good. Shark fin antenna right up there. Um, same deal, hidden type rear window wiper there. Um, and good looking. I think it looks very nice for a minivan or should I say MPV. Um, says high limits in here and I do know that you guys don't like to have the turn signal separately on the bottom but for the first generation it is placed on the bottom um, has, it stopped raining it's pretty nice and uh, trunk is quite the same um, you know you can also fold the uh, third row seats like this and yield more Space. And when you're all down, you can just uh, hold it like this. So it's pretty nice. Uh, and let me turn off the car because I, I really want to show you the smart. Yeah, when you're all done, you can just walk away because Kia Carnival will close the tailgate for you. So thank you. Yeah, I really wish we had a turn signal with the tail lamp or you know somewhere around there so and uh, let me also show you the interior because there's lots of features inside um, I don't know maybe I'm doing something wrong but you know this the power sliding door is supposed to open uh, when you're nearby but I think I'm setting something wrong okay okay now let me just uh, turn on the car so we have some power here so you can close the door with that button. Um, it's a very nice place to be. Uh, like I told you, we have about uh, 12 more inches. Uh, I cannot stand straight up, but you can actually see uh, that we have definitely more headroom. Let me just uh, turn on the lights. It's a little bit uh, bothersome to you already have to uh, turn this light from the TV. Maybe, I don't know how to operate it, but that's the best I can do. Uh, so, first thing, we have a curtain uh, here. I'm not really sure if I do like it. Uh, if you're like a, you know, politicians or celebrity, uh, maybe it's good, but it's sort of blocking a little the view somehow, so. I don't know. I, I, I think I prefer just uh, manual sunshades for the side. Uh, we also have a three-stage heated and ventilation seats. Window comes down, not all the way, but almost all the way for automatic. We also get a cup holder here 
And we also get a cup holder here with the uh, both. Do you see that? Cooling and heating. But <clears throat> this side seems to be broken. It's when you start, it goes brrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrr
Let me know what you guys think about it. We also have a USB charging port, some cup holders, some storage area, speaker. So it's, yeah, some headrest. So pretty nice. Um, also get some lamp, all LEDs. I told you we get some LED lamps up here. So I think it's a very good place to be. Uh, certainly uh, good for short trips. I mean, if the, the front guy, uh, you know, slide the seats forward, uh, I think even for, uh, Long distance travels, I think you should be fine here. So, okay, now let me move to the first row seats and show you the car from there. Ah, it's autumn, so lots of leaves. So, let's move. Okay, now let me just show you the car from the driver's seats. First material check, uh, soft, soft, hard plastic, hard plastic, and uh, Hard plastic, soft touch, so it's very same as any other Kia Carnival. Very nice leather. Um, we also have a dial type gear selector right here. It's very straightforward to use. Uh, dry mode selector, electric parking, auto hold, um, three stage heat and ventilation seats, and heated steering wheel. Uh, parking sensor off if it goes crazy. You can turn it off. 360 camera. Very nice. We also have a cooling and warming cup holders for the uh, first row passengers. Uh, it gets really hot, so let me just show you in a little bit. Uh, three uh, USB charging port, the middle one for the uh, USB charging port, wireless charging pad for your mobile phone. I love the fact that you can just close everything. Um, yeah, physical buttons here, but really wish we had a little bit more. I uh, love the fact that we have a hazard button here, volume, sick buttons, start button here, and um, we also have uh, two large screens, 12.3 uh, inch for the gauge cluster, 12.3 inch for the infotainment screen. There's no uh, passenger camera, but there's a passenger, can you hear it? Passenger talk. So whoever, whoever is not listening to you, you can shout at your kid, right? Be quiet. <laughs> so I think I told you we have a voice recognition system that only works in Korean because this is Korean spec model and yeah it's oh it's, it's it's not like burning but it's it's pretty warm so I think it can yeah can uh, keep your coffee warm not not boil it okay um, so I have a lots of uh, storage area here right there some cup holders so uh, yeah I really wish we had a bit more color and uh, more uh, ambient light, but I'm sure uh, Kia is working on it for the all new next generation Kia Carnival. Some uh, patterns here, so looks pretty good. Now let's go, go uh, and drive this. Uh, shows uh, many stuff like uh, tire pressure and uh, efficiency. Uh, yeah, because this is a 3.5 liter V6, it gets less efficiency compared to 2.2 liter diesel. So you're going to have to choose whether you're going to go efficiency or going with the uh, more performance and more better isolation, okay? Um, so let me just uh, show you. This is the uh, high beam. That's fog lamp, okay? Uh, all right, now let's uh, start driving this car, okay? So this 3.5 liter V6 feels very smooth and quiet. I mean, I'm used to driving Kia Carnivals with 2.2 liter diesel, which is a bit loud and noisy um, in low speed. I mean, once you start driving, I mean, even Carnival with 2.2 liter diesel is quite uh, all right once it starts rolling. But even in, the, you know, stop light like this uh, in idle, uh, it's very nicely isolated. Uh, we also have a auto hold here so you don't have to keep on pressing on the brake. Uh, we're going to also show you about this Kia Carnival um, high roof also has a uh, adaptive cruise control working with uh, lane keep assist and also uh, auto start and stop. So I'm going to show you all those things. Very smooth. Uh, but uh, size wise, I mean, except that it has roof, this is basically same Kia Carnival. So it's, it's, it's not any harder to be driving this car. And uh, when you turn, traffic signal. Yeah, it's, uh, you can feel a little bit of weight uh, when you start driving too, but it's not too much. Um, I really wish we had a time to show you how this guy attacks corners, but I have an important meeting to attend tomorrow. So, 
yeah I cannot do but I really just wanted to show you the um, night drive because yeah we have the uh, screen and uh, good looking ambient light and everything so yeah let's see um, visibility wise uh, we have a blind spot alert system and also monitoring system which will greatly help you I think it's worth the money uh, even if you save one accident I think it's it's worth the money so if you are planning to get a new car um, yeah I think it's you should definitely get it with that um, feature so yeah visibility wise we have a large windows around this is new N3 platform so we have a small windows near the A pillar um, very large windows um, and uh, you know the cow and everything is placed low so it's very easy to see out of the car and very um, easy to drive this car too so yeah feels very smooth nice and quiet it's, it's been raining so uh, let's see how it handles a little bit obviously I cannot go too fast but let me just get a feel of it um, yeah I mean even with the hat on the top <laughs> or roof on the top this guy's handling pretty nicely and uh, the A-speed automatic is also working very eagerly so V6 certainly sounds nice we still have traffic oh my god and the 3.5 liter V6 is making about 290 full horsepower 261 pound feet of torque um, compared to diesel I mean it's, let me just put the car into sports mode oh it even has uh, some torque steer <laughs> because it pulls very strongly um, and sounds pretty good too and a speed automatic two will it go even into first gear yes it does so the transmission even compared to diesel it's, it's a lot smoother and quick responding so very nice so why don't we uh, travel this way I'm going home actually uh, this is actually north side of the uh, Han River and that's actually uh, like I told you financial section uh, politicians that's Yoido so looking pretty good um, Right now we're driving on the highway and the Kia placed the top quite nicely. It's well built together because I'm not hearing much uh, wind noise coming from the top. Yeah, and it's been raining hard this uh, afternoon and it's, I found no leakage either. So <laughs> it's a certainly nice. Uh... Yeah, look, this minivan is kicking some ass. <laughs> pretty nice a lovely view right oh yeah if you really uh, start going fast uh, and start you know turning this car a lot uh, you can certainly feel the uh, weight of the uh, the top um, Kia Carnival handles really nice I mean I was very surprised when I first drove the uh, Kia Carnival for the first time I really was a surprise how well it uh, drove but um, this one with the top still feels quite stable but you can really feel a little bit more body roll because it just has more weight on the top so but you're probably not going to buy this car uh, to be racing so it, it should be quite fine I mean uh, just looking at the car from here I think it would be very nice to have your family back there um, just going long distance trips should be no problem yeah very nice um, so let me just put the car into normal mode because um, we have a traffic uh, we also have adaptive cruise control working with lanes keep assist as you can see it's very delicate system and it's it's under construction so the car does not know what to do so yeah, this is still driving a so you should always keep your hands on the steering wheel but adaptive cruise control is doing excellent job um, it's much better than the uh, my Hyundai Palisades this is probably HDA uh, second generation uh, system which is a lot smoother my Hyundai Palisades tends to be like rough you know he, he goes and stops 
a bit like rough, but this one is like very delicate. It goes uh, smoothly and stops smoothly. So, so this is usual uh, salt traffic. Um, <laughs> yeah, it's, we have traffic everywhere. So, you know, I can just uh, relax, put my foot down like this and let Kia Carnival do all the work. So it's, it's very nice. Uh, yeah. We also have sound system by Corel, so let me just let you hear it. Oh, something I said. In English class. Yeah. Ego FM. Okay, so it sounds pretty nice. All right, guys, we are in the Yoido uh, Financial District. Uh, I think that was an accident, so we crossed the bridge uh, and we're going to turn around and. Uh, go where there's a green line, okay? I uh, love the fact that uh, it shows the, uh, the route, uh, turn by turn directions, right on the uh, middle of the screen. Um, there isn't any uh, head up display though, but uh, it's also showing us the, uh, the speed limit right here and right there. You can also turn it off. Uh, that's what I'm gonna do because. So like I told you, really wish we had an all wheel drive system in this Kia Carnival, I mean, they had it for Hyundai Staria, so which means they can do it for this Kia Carnival too. Uh, and I, I wonder why what's holding them because you know in the United States and North America there's lots of minivans who comes with the uh, which comes with the uh, all-wheel drive system. So you know I really hope uh, Kia will add all-wheel drive system soon, to, uh, which will increase the you know handling capability and stability so yeah come on kia let's do it okay pedestrians you have to be careful uh on rainy days because it's, it's a bit harder to see pedestrians so the 3.5 liter v6 wow sounds great and pulls really hard like it and brake system working very nicely even in this wet conditions uh, seems to have a uh, traffic everywhere yeah I left this uh, cold water here about uh, 20 minutes and it's it's warm now and uh, like I told you uh, yeah it's it's yeah it's a little bit hot so the uh, cup holder warming and ventilation actually works Oh, let me just put the car into uh, sports mode. Full throttle. It's raining quite a bit. Um, changing the uh, drive mode does not do a whole lot to this Kia Carnival high roof. Uh, I think the steering wheel becomes a bit heavier, but you know, pretty much the same. Good sounding V8. We also have a uh, A-speed automatic. Three, four, Will it go into second gear? Yes, it does. Oh my god. And it sounds pretty nice. So, I mean, if you're looking for better performing car, then you should definitely go with 3.5 liter V6 uh, because it's a lot smoother. There's no vibration. It just it will pull very hard uh, when you ask it to. Okay, now let's do put the car back into normal mode. Uh, when you do put the car back into normal mode, everything sort of quiets down. Uh, it holds uh, gear for less. And uh, we have double laminated windows for the first, but single window just for the uh, second rows. But it's quite a thick one, so it's very nicely isolated. And like I told you, even with the uh, high roof on the top, you know, the, the isolation hasn't been changed all that much. So. It's still a very quiet place to be. Okay, now let me just try to show you adaptive cruise control working with lane capacities. As you can see, the adaptive cruise control is working beautifully, but because it's raining and lots of reflection going on, the uh, lane keep assist is not working. So I told you this is only driving A, so you should always keep your hands on the steering wheel for your own safety, okay? And, uh, you know, I just like to steer myself uh, just even having not to press on the uh, brakes constantly is a is a game changer so 
Yeah. All right, guys, this has been a night drive with the 2022 Kia Carnival High Roof. Hope you guys enjoyed it. And we'll be back with much, much more. So if you love cars and car reviews, please do support us by subscribing to our channel and also hit that bell notification so you don't miss out in the future. Thank you guys. See you soon. Stay healthy and bye-bye.